In today's video, I'm going to share with you the best and new ways to make millions of dollars as a solo player this week in GTA 5 Online. So the first thing to talk about is the money bonuses this week. The hangar cell missions are double money, which is incredible because the business just got a huge buff and it's now very viable. As a matter of fact, this week, it is the number two business to grind in the entire game. Of course, first you'll have to pick up a hangar itself. There's a few different locations up in Fort Zancudo, which really are the best, but are a little bit more expensive. And then a couple more down at the LSIA airport. I personally have one downtown because when it comes to the business side of things, I don't think location matters too much. Now the business is very simple. First, you'll have to do source missions where you go out and steal different types of cargo. Once you've done that, you could then bring them back to the hangar and sell them later on for a profit. Now, unlike CEO special cargo, you don't have to pay to source the product. So all the money you make is pure profit. Now there's eight different types of cargo you can source and they're each worth at minimum $30,000. And I say at minimum because the way the hangar works is depending on how much of each type of cargo you have, you can actually earn percentage bonuses on your cell mission. So I'm actually going to leave on screen and linked in the description down below the spreadsheet for percentage bonuses, depending on how much pieces of cargo you have. Now, as you can see, the three best types of products to source is of course, chemicals, medical supplies, and narcotics. If you do get 50 of one of those types of products, you will get a 70% bonus on your cell mission. Now the warehouse itself holds a maximum of 50. So that means you can only source that one type of product. But if you do that, you're making the most amount of money possible. Now, when it comes to these source missions, there's two ways you could do it. There's air and land missions. Air used to be the only way to do it, but since the buff, they added land, which these missions are considerably easier and faster. So I always suggest only doing land missions. Now there's four types of missions you could get. The first one is where you have to go to a warehouse location. Once you get there, it will prompt you to find a backup generator. It's just going to be this large white box. Once you find it, all you have to do is destroy it. I use sticky bombs that will unlock the doors or raise the doors to the warehouse. All you got to do from there is run into the warehouse, pick up the cargo and bring it back. The second type of mission will prompt you to interrupt a deal. When you get there, there's going to be a bunch of enemies surrounding this large trailer. The game will prompt you to steal that trailer with a truck cab, but you actually don't have to do that. You can just blow it up with sticky bombs, RPGs, uh, missiles from your vehicle. It does not matter. If you blow it up, the cargo will drop from it. You can then just pick up the cargo, hop on a different vehicle and fly back to your warehouse. The third kind of mission will send you to an airfield. Once you get there, it will then prompt you to go to a crash site. In that crash site zone, there will be a piece of cargo laying around in the field. It's usually very easy to see because it's shining. So if you fly around the field for just a few seconds, you'll easily see the cargo sticking out, go over to it, pick it up and fly back to the warehouse. And finally, the fourth type of cell mission is going to take you out to the sea. It could be in Palito Bay, Alamo Sea. There's a few different locations. Once you get there, there's going to be quite a few enemies protecting this platform in the water. All you got to do is take out all the enemies, head over to the platform, and there will be a switch on one of the walls there. Once you pull the switch, it will drop the piece of cargo down into the water. You'll then have to use the submarine that's nearby to go down into the water, pick up the piece of cargo and drive it over to another location. Once there, they will give you a truck that you could drive back to the hangar. But once again, you could just blow it up, take the cargo from it and fly back to make it faster. Each of these four missions shouldn't take any longer than eight to 10 minutes, but by far the fastest one to do is the one where you're going to a warehouse, taking out the generator, stealing the cargo and flying back. If you happen to get the one out of Palito Bay, Alamosi or El Burro, I suggest just skipping it. The way to skip these missions is you could set your spawn location as your hangar, assuming you have the living quarters actually purchased for the property. Once you've done that, you could then load up into a new invite only session, head back over to the computer and start up a new source mission. Now, each one of these source missions will have about a three to four minute cooldown. So I find that the average time it takes me to complete a full source mission plus a cooldown is about seven to eight minutes, sometimes 10 minutes. So you could probably get six to seven of these done in an hour. 
Now to make the most amount of money possible, you'll have to do 50 of these source missions for either narcotics, medical supplies, or chemicals. That will take about seven to eight hours. And then once that's done, you could do your final sale mission. Now, once again, the cell mission gives you two options. You could either do an air mission or a land mission. Make sure you always do a land mission as air missions can give you multiple vehicles and they're just frustrating to do. They're pretty much impossible to do as a solo player. The only option you have is to do a land mission where you only get one cell vehicle. Now the cell vehicle can have one to 10 drop offs, but they will always give you enough time to complete it as a solo player. Now, because the hangar is paying out double money on cell missions this week, instead of getting the regular $2.55 million from the sale of 50 pieces of cargo, you will instead this week get $5.1 million if you do it in an invite only session. If you want to make some extra money, you can also go in a public lobby with 20 or more people. That will give you a 50% high demand bonus, taking up your total sale to $7,650,000. If you decide to do that, that will mean that you're making about a million dollars an hour with the hangar business, which makes it the second best business in the game assuming it takes you about seven to eight hours to fill up the full hangar. So this is by far a must grind for the week. And if you wanna make extra money and maximize your money, I highly suggest doing the regular KO Preco heist, which should make you anywhere between 1.3 to $1.5 million in an hour. You can access that by doing the Kasaka Submarine and I'll leave my full guide linked in the description down below. Now, because the KO Preco heist has a two and a half hour cooldown for solo players, it will be perfectly paired up with the hangar business if you just do all of your source missions in the cooldown time. And finally, if you really wanna squeeze out some extra money this week, I suggest doing payphone hits with the agency or making money through your nightclub wall safe and the acid lab. So those are the major money grinds for the week, but that is certainly not all because Rockstar just released a new free mode event called Finders Keepers. The way it works is that all over the map at all periods of time in free mode, there are vehicles driving around that if you steal from the driver, you could bring back to one of your businesses and they will replenish 40% of your stock. This is similar to stash house raids, except you're not getting the full 100% resupply, just 40%. I will leave a link in the description down below of a video showing all the locations and vehicles you'll have to go for. So feel free to check that out if you'd like. And finally, to wrap up the video, we have our weekly time trials. The regular time trial pays out just over $100,000 and the HSW time trial pays out just over 250,000. Of course, the best vehicle for these time trials is the Hakuchi Drag with the HSW upgrade. But with that being said, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. I hope it helped you out. Let me know in the comment section down below if you're grinding out the hangar business since it got the massive buff. Like I said, we could be making upwards of $1 million an hour, which is mind boggling. Anyways, I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.